Welcome, I'm going to show you how to edit the onesie mockup in PhotoP. Let's first go to photop.com in any web browser, p-h-o-t-o-p-e-a.com. I'm using Google Chrome just because it worked a little faster than Safari, so if you're having any trouble with your web browser, you might want to try Google Chrome. And to open the mockup, you can either go to File Open or double click Open from Computer. Then you just want to find the mockup. And then it's going to go ahead and load for a few seconds. And uh, once it does load, we're going to be doing a lot of work in this handy layers panel right here. If you don't see the layers panel, you'll want to go up to window up here. And then scroll down to layers to open it up. And then to insert your design on the front of the onesie here, you just want to double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash onesie front layer. And that'll open up a smart object where you can copy and paste your design. So we'll go to File Open to find the design. And then we'll go to Select All, then Edit, Copy. And then we'll click back on the Smart Object tab and go to Edit, Paste. And if you need to resize your design, you can just hold down the shift key to keep it proportional and then click and drag any one of the four corners. And then once you've got it sized right, you can just go to File, Save Smart Object. And it's gonna save and update your smart object. It'll let you know when it's updated. And then you can just click the X to close the smart object and the original design. And you'll see it put the design on the front of the onesie just like that. You can also change the color of the whole onesie. So I'll click the eye icon to temporarily hide the design. And then to change the color, just double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash onesie layer. And then click anywhere in this rainbow slider here. And then click in the gradated box to change the lightness and darkness of the color. You can also enter different color values if you know them in these boxes. And you'll see this more designs and colors layer. If you click the eye icon next to that to turn it on and then click the layer in the more designs and colors layer group, you'll see there's a whole bunch of um, different uh, parts you can edit. You can change the color of the trim by double clicking the color dash trim box. And then we'll click in the rainbow slider again and see the trim color changing. You can change the color and design of the right sleeve, the right shoulder, the left sleeve, the left shoulder the inside, the bottom here, so you can have all these pieces edited um, into different colors and designs, so you have a lot of different options. And uh, let's say on the inside design, you kind of want it to look like it was showing through the other side, so maybe it's uh, only semi-transparent instead of opaque. If you want to make that less than 100% opacity, you can click on the design dash inside layer, then click the arrow next to opacity and just drag the slider to the left or the right to make it more subtle or more pronounced. Um, th these buttons down here are color changing, so you could click the arrow next to buttons 
and then double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash buttons layer. And that'll open up the color picker and you can change the buttons color to basically any color. If your onesie doesn't have buttons, you can also just turn them off by clicking the eye icon next to buttons. If you wanted to add more shading to the onesie, maybe you want to make it a little more contrasty because your design or the colors you're using are especially bright, you can click the eye icon next to the more shading onesie layer. And you can click on the more shading layer, click the down arrow next to opacity, and drag the slider to the right to make it more contrasty or the left to make it more subtle. You can also adjust the lightness and darkness of the shadows underneath the onesie by clicking the arrow next to shadows under onesie, then clicking the cast shadow layer, and then clicking the arrow next to opacity and dragging the slider to the right to make it darker, or the left to make it more subtle. And you can uh, edit the backgrounds depending on which onesie mockup you purchase. You'll have different backgrounds. So to edit them, just click the arrow next to the backgrounds layer group. And then if there are a bunch of backgrounds here, you can just click eye icons on and off to toggle through them. You could also just copy and paste your own background in if you wanted to do that. And uh, when you're all done, you can just save it. If you're going to use this online on a website like Etsy as a thumbnail. You're going to want to save a version as a JPEG. So to do that, just go to File, Export as JPEG, and then it'll save a JPEG in your Downloads folder. Um, if you wanted to, you could come back here a second time. Go to File, Save as PSD to save a layered PSD with your design. And that's all there is to editing the uh, onesie mockup in photo p please message me at melissabmockups.com if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos and as always this mockup and other mockups are available at melissabmockups.com thank you